Hello everybody, my name is Emmett, and today I'm going to be doing a review for the uh, Pinoy Boy Packer. So, if you haven't seen it, I did an unboxing for this Packer um, not too long ago, just a few weeks ago. Uh, I wanted to give myself a good amount of time to try it out, make sure I could do a good review. Uh, and it's been about uh, three weeks, and I feel like that's enough time for just a basic Packer to have a good idea of, you know... Uh, pros and cons. So, full disclosure, I was sent this to review, uh, but everything is still honest. You know, I want to help these small companies make the best product they can. So, if I have any, you know, issues with something or uh, suggestions, I will say it. You know, I'm not gonna just give it glowing review just because I got it for free. You know, it's not. That's not how I work. So, a little bit about this company before I, you know, show the packer and start talking about it. Uh, it's one guy. Just one guy. Uh, super, super, super small company. Uh, I will be linking his Instagram below where you can find a link to the store to buy this on. Currently, he's only on uh, this app called Depop, to my knowledge. Uh, I don't know if he has plans to start posting things on, like, Etsy or whatever. I, I don't know. He has a couple of different models of Packers, uh, the one that I'm going to be showing, there's a smaller one that would be really good for uh, smaller people or kids, and then uh, he is working on another model, but I'm, I don't know really anything. So uh, fair warning, I am going to be showing a realistic looking prosthetic, if you don't want to see that, please look away. If you're cool with that, great, we'll get on with this. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like. I have natural light now, so you can see better what it looks like. I apologize for how red my hands are. I was just outside and it's kind of cold outside. So, there you go. This is what the back looks like. It's a very, you can kind of see if I did that. It's sort of, it has like it's concave. Um, the shaft is attached to the balls. Um, this is live cast. Uh, you probably can't tell from my uh, because I use my camera on my phone, but it's very, very detailed. You can see all of the little bits of skin texture, particularly on the head. It's actually really impressive. I really wish I had a better camera so that you could see it, uh, because it doesn't look nearly as good on, on my camera as it does in real life, um, which is really sad, uh, because it's really impressive, honestly, in my opinion. Um... So this is live cast. It was cast off of a uh, person that has a penis. I'm not sure if they're cis or not, but someone who does have a penis. It's a good size, I feel like. It looks like this is this is huge, but when you're actually packing with it, it sits more like this. Um, I will include a couple of pictures of what this looks like in underwear, uh, just so you get an idea. Um, to pack with this, I use just a jock strap. Uh, I'll show you that. So this is literally just like an athletic jock strap, and it has a uh, pouch in it for a cup. And all I do is put this. It's easier when you have it on. Um, I just put this in this pouch. You can't even tell it's in there because. <laughs> Uh, and it keeps it nice and secure. Uh, it also, I'm a person, I don't like the feeling of something pressed up against me. This is really soft, so I don't really have a problem with this. Uh, if it was just against, like, just skin contact. But I have some sensory problems. Um, so having a jock strap with a pouch to keep this from directly touching me, and it's not just with this specifically, it's with every packer I have, not just this one. Uh, helps me a lot, makes it a lot more comfortable for me. Um, so that's what I do. Uh, also, this is made out of the same thing that the Mr. Limpy is made out of, TPE. Um, and it can sort of secrete like in, like oil. It feels really oily. Um, like this doesn't feel oily. I'm just like the secretions like feel oily. Um, so just me personally, I'd rather have like something in between. I do the same thing with the Mr. Limpy. I do the same thing with the Real Magic basic packer that I use. So again, it's not just this one. I like it a lot in the jock strap. It feels very natural. The concave back here makes it feel very comfortable. It sort of sits against 
me in a way that feels very comfortable rather than just like a flat back, like just like smushed up. You know, it actually sort of conforms to your body shape, which is really nice. It looks very natural in underwear. Um, something that I actually like, uh, and I know some people may disagree, I actually really like that this is fused, um, at least for one this size, uh, because that means your shaft doesn't get caught on your underwear, uh, so it doesn't like budge up or, you know, look weird, which is a problem that I've had with some smaller packers like this. You know, it doesn't poke out like they tend to. So that's actually really nice. Okay, so this is Moon. <laughs> so this is what it looks like from the front. And this is what it looks like from the side. So it, it looks very realistic, I think. I think it has a nice bulge. If you want it to be a little bit bigger, you, know, you could put it up a little higher. If you want it to be a little bit smaller, you could move it down a little bit lower. Hello, moon. So I think it looks good. It feels comfortable. Um, if you had just like tight briefs, or even probably tight boxer briefs, like I could probably get away with just this packer in these particular boxer briefs. Um, then you probably wouldn't need any sort of harness or anything for it, but again, I like to have one just because I don't like to feel it directly against me, so. This isn't super heavy also, and I feel like this is a very, like, realistic size. Um, I would say this is about three inches, maybe, from, like, this point to this point, maybe a little less, um, which is a very, uh, realistic size in my opinion. I know it's hard to find packers that are realistic size, uh, it's not super girthy either, which is nice. Um, there are other skin tones than this. I know it looks like, for some reason, like, I don't know, maybe it's just this camera. This looks, like, super, super brown compared to me. But in person, it's only, like, a little bit darker than me. So, you know, like, it's just, like, maybe it's just the lighting or what. But it really does not look that dark in person. I actually really like the color that this is. I feel like it's pretty close to me. It's just, for some reason, it looks way darker than it actually is. So, some cons to this. Um, you know, some people might see the fused shaft as a con. Uh, people might want to pack, you know, like to the side or up or whatever. So, I could see how that could be an issue for some people. I could see how the material that it's made out of could be an issue for some people. Some people can be sensitive to things. This is not made out of silicone. Uh, it is made out of TPE, the same thing that the Mr. Olympies are made out of. So that also could be a con. The last time I checked, these go for around $35, which I think is reasonable for what you're getting. I mean, it's live cast. It's very realistic. So I think it's worth it. I would happily pay $35 for this. So I am going to compare this to the extra small Mr. Limpy, just so, you know, you know, like texture-wise and like looks-wise and size-wise and all that sort of thing, because that's something that I see it being compared to a lot, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so this is the extra small Mr. Limpy. Um, just for size comparison, is there a good way to do this? Maybe I should have done this, like, put these on a flat surface. So for size comparison... You know, as far as like shaft length goes, that, that looks pretty good, yeah. So, and just color comparison, this is the lightest one. This is like, I don't know what it's called, probably something weird like flesh. But yeah, so uh, that is the comparison of these two. As far as texture goes, you know, it's pretty much the same. They're made out of the same thing. So if you have a Mr. Limpy, you know what this feels like, basically. Uh, and texture-wise, like, how it feels compared to uh, Real Magic. This is the Real Magic 5-inch basic packer uh, in the soft uh, texture, I guess. And, like, this is definitely a lot softer than this. Um, just squeezing them. This is more like a um, very firm stress ball and this is a lot softer uh this is more comfortable to pack with than this just because it is softer also this is a lot smaller 
So it, I went from this being my daily packer to this being my new daily packer. So that was a a big jump. Um, if y'all would like to see a review on this, please let me know. I would be happy to do one. So that is my review for the Pinoy Boy Fuse Packer. Um, I know the biggest question for reviews and things, would you recommend it? Yeah, I would. Honestly, I would recommend it. It is one of my go-to packers now. It's very comfortable. It looks nice. It sits very well in a jock strap, so I don't have to worry about it shifting around, moving around, poking out, looking weird. It's a good size. I think it's at a good price point. I think it looks great for what it is. You know, it is life cast. It's very detailed with what you have. The only big con that I can think of um, actually there are two, the only cons. One, um, if you do want one of these, then you would have to go through the Depop app, uh, which might be inconvenient for some people. I do think, like, maybe, like, an Etsy store or something would be more convenient for people, but, you know, it's not my business, I'm not gonna judge. Uh, and two, I think it would be nicer if it were made out of silicone rather than TPE just because, you know, silicone is more body safe. Um, silicone doesn't really secrete, you know, like oils and things. Uh, it tends to be better for people with skin sensitivities, but I also understand that it can be more expensive. So again, not me judging, just a thought that I had. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If you have anything you want me to talk about, please let me know. I'm not a creative person, so I would love to, you know, talk about what you guys want me to talk about. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.